friends today we will see roughing operation for this core part so here i have a part and i will share this part with you and the part is roughing.stb and here we have one part and one blank also so both part and stock i have imported now i need a plane at 10 for safety plane and i need one center point so just use this and click here now dimension it enter this 100 and 100 right now come to start and machining advanced machining so first double click over it this reference coordinate system and the center is on the top of this part okay and from part operation double click here and my operations are three axis machining so select this three axis okay and now the blank stock is this one double click and for part this is a part right and the safety plane the safety plane is this one now click ok right the part operation is defined now I'm going to select this roughing click here here rough stock this is a rough stock now hide this now the part the part is this one bottom the bottom face is this top face the top face is this one safety plane is this one right if you want to define some limits so we can also define with the help of a close contour we can also define a limit so right now i'm not using so skip this and now replay toolpath replay so it will generate say this one okay now close and come to this first tab and here in this operation we have only a core part so we don't have multiple pocket so in next example we will see this this by area and plane we will see now the tool path is a helical so first do one thing Increase the axial depth by 10. Now see, this is the helical. Let's see. Helical toolpath. right pause it and again come to this and here i want to use zigzag or spiral so we have spiral and zigzag also see this so this is spiral and uh, zigzag right so as per the model as per the geometry we will decide 
the cut pattern. So for this model, I am using helical and the tolerance is 0 0.01 and here inward or outward helical movement it will automatically detect and automatically it will use. For radial for step over here it is a radial, radial is nothing it is a step over so it is 50% of tool dia so it is okay. Now axial depth so depth of cut I am using 1 for zone say this small pass filter and click here say this here we have the hole the smallest area to be machine is zero if you want to decide minimum area to be cut you can enter the value right this is mm square so the area you can enter it will detect and it will cut okay so in our case it will not work so i am not using this one for bottom it will automatically detect the horizontal face and for high speed machining it will generate corner radius of one radius right so again i am not using this one now come to this here i am not using this ball mill so 20 is the dia radius 1 tip radius tool i am going to use and 200 is a length or cutting length and this length double click here and I want 160 and this length 120 and the dia is 30 right and now generate The axial depth is very less, so it is taking time for computing the tool path. So let us wait. This is a roughing operation. So after this operation, one mm material will be there on the face. right click here Okay. Okay, take this depth of cut as two and show this stock. If it is not visible in replay, so please show the stock and you will find so this is the roughing operation and one mm material is still there because this is a roughing operation after that if it is required you can apply rest milling or semi finish and finish and any other corner roughing or corner finishing if you want you can also apply other operation after that right okay and 
come to this strategy and here the offset on part I want only 0.5 mm material after this operation so enter 0.5 and this depth of cut I am using 0.6 and generate and it will take time video result and play only 0.5 mm material is left over the surface and 0 0.01 is at all is and some places where the bigger tool is not possible to cut so only those material those area is left otherwise it will cut all the material so hope you understand this properly this is especially for roughing operation